15 years. That's how long MP for Ketu North, James Kluchia Aveji, has represented his constituents. But has he done enough to deserve another term ahead of the December elections? We find out in this edition of Constituency Watch. I am Lord Harris Idwasari. Ta <laughs> I don't put my hope on any politician. So I don't have any trust in them too. And then how I suppose uh, he should... Okay, I, I don't see him do anything good in our cartoon of constituency. And I see a lot of people in this uh, area and uh, they don't have any proper road. And some too, there's no good drinking water in their area. And uh, they have been asking him to support them but uh, there's no help coming from him. But meanwhile, he promised those people that when we give him the power, he's going to do this thing for us, he's going to do this thing for us. But as we give him the power, he just disappoints us. How will you rate him, his performance, on a scale of zero to one? How will you rate him? Oh, to me, I'll give him 35 percent. I've been here for the honor. I'm a Boba Anu. Kabakaba, Hey, kega poto, kega wala. Alaba hafi dona ten hacho, ayi ngogba. Ke nebe ya, ipa dona kato wafere, leke na ya amake. A global tui kata alu, ane mag videko. Ok, lak, mera nyak bonya, nama mba mag bule ya. Nyak, nyak maku 85% ni. I think he has done very well. He has performed to, to my satisfaction. So that is how best I can rate him. Yeah. What are some of the things uh, he has done? Infrastructure, uh, pipe. Uh, these are the few things I know about. I, I'm not much into those assessing politicians and so and so on. So, but the few ones I know is what I'm talking about. Uh, probably the road network, especially from uh, uh, this going to Veta, the road that links Georgia to Veta. Yes, uh, I think that is what we all pray is being is being done. Uh, probably I'll, I'll I'll give him sixty percent. About two million, five hundred million. Like if we want to be able to see the result of that, even last year's army like Kuala Ye Ye Hinami, even now the community ama school school at Alafma, also Doctor James Prisa Vujifa, Mia Mia Pa Am Pinyama, the school school at Alafma. Achio <laughs> 
Oh, Kata, never for Wunya, make a good Jago. May have a doy or Molata, or Gaiji, a well woman. No good at a Kapujo. Now, Marazza come to Maranava. Oh, Doctor James, please have a Jana Yanga, Yaba, Maracara, Makela, and ninety percent. Avaji has tried his best. He has helped uh, Katun of a lot in terms of uh, rules, school, buildings, electricity. I cannot mention all. Uh, he has done his best. Well, uh, we wish him uh, very well. If he succeeded or we won uh, the MP seat, what we expect him to do more is, especially the youth, they should establish a stadium or a very viable place where youth can be uh, successful in their future. Or we, the elders, we have seen a lot already, but you should concentrate on the youth. But they are the next generation mm, about sports and other disciplines. He, he has ventured into so many things. Uh, I knew the cartoon of a uh, municipal uh, hospital is ongoing. Uh, through his initiative, we have seen it, it is ongoing. So uh, we hope for the best. Any other person who will win must continue from where Avaji has left. This is my wish. Because hmm. no project should be abandoned. Especially uh, from Juje to Aki, Penyi to Aki, then Aki to Agozuma Road, then Veta uh, Junction to Heavy. Those two roads are very, very important for us. Oh, I will not mention number, but I've given me a pass mark. Ah, on a buffer, Jimo and Anakarami. Now from where? Jamasheva Domwa, Jamashi. MPP minister, you have done much of Yakaka Yabloma. Toya Maya, Jamasheva won Anakan Anka, Afajima won Anakanami, Jamasheva Domola Fia Nami, Tafia Mia, Jimba Mia Change, Afajanamia Dakore Jamashi, Demania Empia, Mava Domonamia, as above Adomonami, a Miapa Kavia, you hope by Okaka Joma, as above Akuma Bay, you come on for Nahombe, I will come on Kawa, Namako, Afajipa Nanaka, Katunafu. On the whole, he has been doing well. Yeah. And normally, some of our school projects, infrastructure wise, when we contacted, he's able to support. Yes, in some of the villages. And then uh, the social intervention, those needy students, whenever they approach him, he helps. Then opening up a network to the constituency, to all the villages. He has done that one also. So uh, most of the routes have been tied to join the main uh, Aplau route. There are a lot of challenges there, though he has tried to solve most of them, but still, uh, regards this uh, unemployment issues that our young ones are crying for. Uh, Ketu North now has become a municipal. So we need a more industrialization to come so that uh, the youth also can stay here, not always running to Accra. Are you getting me? Uh -huh. So if the irrigation project, the rice irrigation project, if it can be improved, are you getting me? To employ more of the youth there, the rice project, fine. I also plead that uh, once a while they should come and brief us. They should come and brief us with things going on in the urban areas. Their absence, normally, we don't feel aga. Like we want to see more of them. They should come and listen to us. Constituents of Kitsu North have spoken, and their member of parliament, Honorable James Klusia Abeji, will know his fate come December 7. That's it for this edition of Constituency Watch. My name is Lord Harry Sudhakar.